The giant demon head, like so many of my projects, started off just gluing a bunch of cardboard together. I didn't have any vision of what I wanted this to look like in the end. You just kind of get started and see where the materials take you. So each step of the way, we just added a little something uh, and then tested it out to see what we liked and uh, where it went from there. There's a lot of uh, small parts that are 3D printed here. So um, we used a lot of servos, tiny little 9 gram servos and 3D printed parts that were combined with craft foam. The eyeballs, for example, are craft foam. In these sections, you can see me testing out all the different mechanisms. Um, you have to counterweight things like the jaw because the servo motors are very small. They don't actually move a lot of weight. so. Uh, the jaw, for example, has counterweights to help the motor be able to lift the whole jaw mechanism. The skin on this guy is actually plastic bags, recycled plastic bags. We glue them onto the frame and then hit it with a heat gun, and it melts them, giving it this crazy, like, wrinkled look, which I ended up loving. We just hit it with some spray paint, and uh, yeah, it came out really well, I think. For Halloween in 2020, we actually set up the demon in our front yard on a, I think it was an eight foot body. So the head is about three feet tall. We put it on like a seven or eight foot body. So the whole thing together is about 10 or 11 feet tall. And uh, it had its own button that you could step on to activate it. We love our products to be interactive. So there's always controls that let other people control them. 